everyone welcome back to my channel i really got to get a name for y'all like i want to like call y'all something i hate to say y'all or youtube or guys hey guys i don't want to say that like i'm gonna think about that but until then welcome back to my channel i am c2 random i make love lifestyle advice and astrology videos and I am here today to share some news about some sexy ass Scorpios for y'all. So if you are dating a Scorpio or you're married to a Scorpio and you just or you just want to know a little bit more about Scorpios, then stay tuned. This video is for you. Scorpios love dramatic, dramatic, masculine, strong, feminine. They love very they're very overpowering controlling people so they like that in return too they don't want somebody that is just going to sit by and just be timid and you know be passive they really do appreciate a person that is going to be strong and what they want and they like that they don't appreciate a faint heart they really want you to be direct and go for it. They like people who can hold their ground, who can hold their own, who can stand up for themselves. They really do find that really attractive. Scorpio women specifically, they're very emotional, yet controlling, yet demanding, yet affectionate. So they got a lot of that going on in there. You need to know how to love them just right, yet not do it in a way to where it's like, okay you're smothering me you're you're being sensitive they need kind of the best of both these people do not like to share <laughs> they're very 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 jealous hearted they want someone that is 100 going to be for them and by them and i think a lot of our signs like that a, lo a lot of signs you know really do appreciate having that attention everybody likes that but these people specifically they don't want you giving your attention nowhere i know my dad is a um my dad is married to a scorpio and i was telling him about going to the spa and getting a massage and he was like oh no i don't go to the spa and get a massage i go to a chiropractor my wife would not have another woman or anybody else putting their hands on me and i'm like wow you know that's deep but that's just in their nature. They're really, really possessive like that. However, they have this tick about them. They have this sensuality that's very seductive about them. This secretive, mystic, mystery, kind of mysterious sexual thing about them. So a lot of men that are dating women that are Scorpios find them very, very attractive and it's just something about them they just can't put their finger on it but it's like i gotta have them i gotta have them scorpios are very emotional they're water signs just like cancer pisces um they're very emotional and you know <laughs> you gotta be careful with that you can't be saying stuff off the wall to them um you know and a lot of people think that you're emotional so you're sensitive and you're a crybaby all the time but people don't realize that when you're emotional you tend to do very irrational things because you're not thinking with your 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 conscious rational mind you're thinking with your emotional heart your inside so you know I'm not saying that you can just like hurt their feelings and they're gonna go in a corner and cry I'm saying like if you hurt their feelings or you say something very off the wall to them they are going to react in a very irrational emotional way whether that be you know you know I know I've seen a lot of people put their hands on each other and do things very irrational on an emotional level y'all know what i'm talking about y'all y'all get what i'm i'm saying you know i'm not gonna say that they're gonna go and, and kill you or anything but they might you know you really do need to be careful about what you say to them and about them that is going to cause them to be an emotional mess however on the flip side of that emotional aspect they're very passionate and protective and affectionate so these are probably scorpios are probably 
one of the few signs in the zodiac that are going to show you love and unconditional affectionate and you know that's that's another thing that's very alluring to them too they they know how to baby you and pamper you and make you feel very good so naturally they're going to expect that same thing back in return but on a different level if a scorpio loves you and they really really care about you they will do anything for you they will defend you they will you know protect you they're gonna do all of those things they also want the best for you and this is another thing that goes into uh, the controlling aspect they want the best for you so if they feel like you're doing something that is not good for you or is not potentially the best for you they're gonna be more controlling and more possessive and you know more emotional about what you're doing and the choices that you make it's not necessarily so much about the controlling I want to control you I want you to never go anywhere that kind of thing but they always kind of look at things from a I just want the best for you so a lot of times a lot of Scorpio parents that have smaller children or you know Scorpio parents in general they have been more um, disciplinary uh, more of a masculine you know um, dictating ship relationship with their kids their kids you know they either respect a lot of what their parent their Scorpio parents have to say or they you know flee from it they go against it because it's it's either too much it's just too much for them so you know that's kind of how that works and I know that a lot of people that were raised from Scorpios um, have had very challenging tough childhoods because their parents have been really really controlling and very dictating in their lives and possessive and if you don't understand who your parents are and why they are the way they are then you won't be able to deal with it so you can't you can't handle what you don't understand and I just wanted to throw that in there because I know that there are a lot of people that are hurting and you know this channel is about healing and this channel is about understanding and trying to figure out who you are and why you do the things that you do and why you say the things that you say why you like the things that you like and how you can deal with them so that you can you know ultimately live your best lives Scorpios also have a very psychic nature about them so they can tell when you're lying <laughs> they can um, the take bullshit from a mile away so just be sincere and be honest and you know like that goes back into Scorpios really do respect people who stand their ground and are honest and open about what the hell you got to say you know they'll respect you more for that and standing your ground and just you know being straight up 100 with them than you being dull and lying and deceitful and they don't you're not going to be able to get away with that. So just be honest with them. Just be honest with them. Even if it does make them mad. Be honest. Honesty is always the best policy anyway. So, you know, just be straight up and stand your ground. And, you know, say what you got to say with force and with pride and mean it. You know, don't be, don't be like that. You know, have some dignity. Stand up straight and some confidence. They respect a lot of people that have confidence. A great date for Scorpio would obviously be going to the beach. They love water. Anything that has to do with, you know, water, water park, the beach, or maybe even going to like an aquarium. They love stuff like that. So, um, and they're also very unpredictable. They like to do things off the spur of the moment, very spontaneous. Scorpios also really do enjoy going out to the club and um, going to like charity events or sporting events. They like to socialize too. They're very, very good. I have, I have yet to see any other sign that has the great ability to communicate like a Scorpio like oh my goodness so they love going to social events and talking and you know they're one of those like they're great for like if you have friends and y'all are going out and you guys are like new or you know um, this is y'all first time going out or this is your first time meeting someone they are really good icebreakers they know how to like 
get the conversation going. They're very great at conversating. A lot of Scorpios are either very good at selling or they are, um, they're just really good at sealing the deal and getting the job done when it comes to talking. So if you're shy, you know, right off the bat, they're gonna they're gonna break that ice. They're gonna go right in there. But again, they don't appreciate that. They don't like that shy, timid stuff. So you need to like be about what you about. I also wanted to get into this. Scorpios are not are they don't appreciate arguments. They're very um, possessive and don't like to be disagreed with. And that's a that's an issue. That's something. If you're a Scorpio and you're watching this video and you get pissed off with people because they don't agree with you, you need to you need to do some work on yourself because that's really not a good trait to have. Because I mean, if you haven't noticed, this world that we're living in is always it's just very opinionated, and everybody has their own opinion. So everybody is not always going to agree with everything that you do. So you need to work on that, Scorpio. Scorpios, if you're watching this, don't come for me. I'm just stating facts. We all have traits in our chart that, um, you know, are not great. They're not great, and we all have to work on that. So um, don't try to, like, you know, come off too strong with them, but just keep that in mind. Scorpios are very proud, you know, prideful people serious you know don't try to like downplay them on, on that level um i have a love hate relationship with scorpios personally but that's just me don't be dull don't be a pushover don't be a um don't be a people pleaser unless you're pleasing them and doing what they tell you to do so, um, if none of these resonate with you guys, please be sure to check out your moon and your other rising signs, your other planetary aspects all do play a role in this. Also, the way you were raised, your upbringing, you know, what you were exposed to as a child. And, you know, also check your compatibility because you may not be astrologically compat compatible to them. But I don't, honestly do not go off of that because, like I said, you know, you have a lot in your chart. So, your, your moon sign might be more compatible to them. And that might be a way that you can um, kind of get along. So, um, and also, if you want to check out all of these things and you want to... You don't you you want to know how you can check your moon, your rising, your ascending, all that. Um, I will leave a link to a great natal chart. All you have to do is put your birthday, the date of birth, your date of birth, the time you were born. It needs to be as close to the exact time as possible, and your location, like where you were born, and you will um, discover. A lot of who you are your natal chart so i will see you guys on the next video please thumbs up shows youtube that you know what is going on you know what it is you know where it's at and i will see you guys on the next video and until then peace